right, what's going on everybody? It's Nomad93 with Oculus Prime coming at you with another tutorial video. Uh, this one is for contractors. We've been getting a lot of questions on this video recently. Uh, so this one is basically just how to navigate the menu. Uh, it is somewhat confusing when you're first starting out. So we're going to kind of give you guys a few pointers and hopefully get you into the game sooner so you can start having more fun. Uh, so first things first, obviously you have multiplayer over here, single player right here. If you want to play with friends, you click that one. If you want to play by yourself, you click that one. Uh, up here, you've got loadout. So with loadout, you can select all the guns that you want, any additional attachments right here. Just understand that any attachment comes with a cost. So all of that adds up right here. So you can't go over your budgeted cost. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your loadout. Everything has to equal that number or less. If you're having trouble bringing up the menu, oh my god, dude, I, I'm, am I having a strong? If you're having trouble bringing up the menu, the default setting is to push the B or the Y button on your controllers. But you can change that once you bring up the menu, go into settings, click on control, scroll down, and you see menu button right here and you just select that with the trigger and you can make it the menu button on your left controller. Again, all of these tutorials are for the Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2, whatever you want to call it. We haven't had any experience with any other VR gaming platforms yet, uh, so all of these are going to be for the Quest 2. Hopefully some of this will translate into those other platforms couple things to make playing the game a little bit easier. So when you get into the game, always go into the settings and recalibrate your height. Uh, it makes sure that everything is where it should be for you. Uh, on player body, I have hands only selected so that when I look down, I can see everything that is on my kit. I've got pistol mags here, my knife, my primary mags, my sidearm, my primary firearm, and my uh, grenade right here. If you click on full body, when you look down, you kind of get this whole get up and that kind of gets in the way. So I like to use hands only so I can see everything. Another thing that would make playing the game a little easier is head oriented movement. So head oriented movement. What that means is when I'm pushing forward on the joystick and I turn my head, Whatever direction I'm facing is now forward. If you change that to disabled, no matter what direction I face, forward is whatever direction my controller is facing. So I like to use head-oriented movement so that I can just push forward and turn, and whatever direction I'm facing, I'm moving towards. All right, so a little bit more on navigating the menu. When you go into social, there's really nothing you can do from this other than message people from this menu. You can block people as well, but for example, my friend here, Jmart88, I can't invite him to a game from this menu, okay? In order to do that, I have to go into multiplayer and set up a game, but we'll get into that here in a second. Tutorials, this is a great tool, especially if you're just getting into the game. It shows you how to move throughout the game and how to use certain objects and your weapons, etc., etc. All right, so let's say you want to get into a game with your buddy, right? So I'm going to click on multiplayer here, and now you're faced with this. What do you do? So there's casual, competitive, ground war, and co-op. So casual is exactly what it sounds like. It's a casual play. You guys are just hanging out, shooting dudes and whatnot. Competitive gets a little more crazy. Uh, there's some really good players in there. Ground War is large scale. So there's uh, 16 people, eight people per team most of the time. And it uh, just, it's got to be a big map for it to be any kind of fun, at least in my opinion. And then there's co-op. So with co-op, you can select your max players anywhere from two to four. This is different uh, depending on which game mode you choose. For example, casual is anywhere from 4 to 10. 
competitive, 4 to 10. Ground war is locked in at 16. So with co-op, maybe it's maybe I just want to play me and J-Mart, so I'll set it to 2. I'll hit next. Select your region. So we are playing in North America. So we're going to select that one. And now I can invite him from this menu. I can also change certain things about the game that I'm playing. So I can pick a map, different maps here. I can pick what kind of game mode we're going to play. You can also pick what kind of loadouts you're gonna, gonna use. So you've got standard, World War II, and then these are available with casual gameplay with Ninja Warrior, so it's like bows, swords, uh, things like that. Pistol only, old action only. You know, make it a little more challenging for yourself. Typically, we just use standard. And then once I get J Mart into the game, we can select which team we want to be on. So I can select Team A, and he can select B if we want to, you know, battle against each other, or we can both go A. We can bring in some bots something along those lines. You can also join a game that's already in progress. So if you're just playing by yourself, but you want to play online with some people, you know, you've got room here, room here. This one's nine out of 10. So, um, but that's basically how you navigate this menu. So a couple other things uh, with the menu right here is general comms. This just allows you to be able to talk. This is your microphone. You turn it off, no one can hear you. You turn it on, people can't hear you. But this, uh, this is open mic. So basically anytime I talk, they're going to be able to hear me. You can, if you want to add a little fun to it, change it to push to talk. So now no one's going to hear me when I talk unless I click my mic. To do that, I'm going to exit the menu to show you. Take either hand, put it to your opposite shoulder or same shoulder, whichever one's more comfortable, and squeeze the trigger button with your index finger. And you hear the beep. And now, as I talk, they would hear me. When I let go, you hear the last beep, and now they can't hear what I'm saying anymore. And that is, in a nutshell, how to navigate the menu. Up here, you have mods. We're going to do a different video for that. But basically, this is how you download uh, different maps and loadouts and anything like that that you might want to do. So stay tuned for that video coming up next.